Hey y'all, me and Sarge back down to the basement. Uh, gonna do a little, a uh, little bit of electrical testing today. We're gonna actually do some continuity uh, checks. Um, had Lolly Too Cute uh, comment on one of my videos and uh, wanted to know a little bit more about continuity and resistance and ohms and all. But I think the major portion of it was uh, wanted to see some continuity tests. And to me, uh, continuity is basically a continuous loop or you know a continuous circuit. And when you don't show continuity, you're kind of looking for a break in, break in your line. So basically what we'll do here is we'll take our field piece here and we'll take it to the continuity setting, the beep beep setting. And right now we're reading uh, open line, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our switch and we're going to uh, set it on and it should close the switch. And there she is. Now with the fill piece, this is a higher end test instrument, it actually reads, uh, it'll actually give you your own reading on that continuity check. A lot of meters don't. But uh, anyway, I'll prove a point, I'll just set her to ohms, which is that omega sign right there. And we'll see what kind of resistance we get, what kind of ohm reading we get. Okay, she's reading point one, so there we go. All right, well, let's uh, do a couple more tests and uh, check her out a little bit and maybe simulate something like we'd have in the field. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all, we've got a, uh, well, let me start by saying whenever we do any of these tests, uh, make sure the power's off. Uh, you'll, uh, if you're ohming stuff out with the power on, you're going to, uh, and, and you're uh, checking for resistance or you're checking for continuity, you're going to fry your, uh, you're going to fry your, uh, your uh, testing component. You're going to fry your meter. Uh, like I said, the fill piece, uh, they thought ahead, and there's a uh, uh, fuse in there, but uh, hell, them fuses are expensive. But anyway, uh, I'm glad they got it. Look. But what I've got here is, like, like I said, I've got 115 volt, uh, uh, half horsepower, uh, clockwise um, uh, blower motor I took out a long time ago. I believe it's out of my old furnace. But uh, I've got her hooked, uh, one lead hooked to the common right there, that white one there. And uh, I've done ohmed her out. The black is high. The blue is medium high, the yellow is uh, medium low, and uh, the red's low. So let's see what type of resistance we get, and uh, see if we get to beat. Like I said, with the field piece, you can actually read your your ohms off the uh, off the continuity test here. Let's see if we get continuity. Okay, continuity. All right, we got one point. We're looking at probably two on the uh, on the high. Now let's move over here to the uh, medium high. Now see if we had a if we had the wire hooked to it and we was reading that open line, we know we have open winding. All right, well let's uh, let's go over here to the blue one. See the we're getting more resistance the uh, the slower we go, the slower slower the speeds are. All right, two point four. Let's do the yeller. Three point oh. Now let's do the low. Okay, 3.6. Okay, and that's what we do for an open winding test on a motor. But like I said, man, go check out 21 Foot Express, man. He takes it to the next level. He, he shows you how to do all the math and everything. This is just a quick test. But, uh, you know, there's other methods. This is kind of just teaching y'all, you know, teaching y'all. A lot of times we'll just check for power and, and uh, you know, if she, ain't, if she ain't running, she ain't hot. You know, if she ain't out in overload, you know, let her cool down and then test her. But, you know, if you've got power applied to her and she ain't firing, you know, you got a bad motor. All right, y'all, let's see what else we can find. Hey, y'all, this is something we always we do a lot of continuity testing on. This is a uh, limit, and uh, it's, this is a resettable limit. Um, and actually, you have to reset it. See that little red button there? When it, when it opens, you have to reset it. Okay, let's see if uh, she's got continuity. Okay, we're good to go. Now, if it wasn't beeping, uh, we'd know she was open. Okay. Now I've got uh, I've got one here that actually resets itself, and uh, you need to read these. Uh, I believe this one says it's uh, 115 minus 10 Fahrenheit. L15 minus 10 Fahrenheit. That tells you that she goes out at 115 degrees Fahrenheit and she resets herself 
at uh, minus 10 at 105 degrees Fahrenheit. She'll reset herself. So let's test test her out real quick. See if she's open or closed or whatnot. Okay, we're good to go. Okay. Now that's the thing I was going to get tell y'all here. All right, see this one here. This is a high lemon I took out of that old York, and it says L150, L 150 degrees Fahrenheit minus 30. Now this thing here will go out at 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and she'll uh, uh, reset herself at 120. Now let's test her. We should get that beat. See, I know we're not because it's a bad limit. And what it did was we had a blower motor that, uh, it, that that's where that test comes in, what that one feller I was telling you about, that 21-foot express does. Um, it what That motor wasn't out, but it wasn't moving enough air. And what it did was it uh, it got that bonnet so hot on there, that plenum so hot that, I mean, you could fry eggs on it. And, uh, you know, she went out. She did her job. She opened up, and, you know, and next thing you know, the uh, inducer motor fires up and keeps running, and the uh, blower motor fires up and keeps running. Until you figure out what the problem is. That's my. That's what I'm trying to get get through to y'all. Is uh, whenever you come across these and they're open, uh, just putting another one in ain't say ain't, ain't fixing the problem. You need to find out what the problem is because this right here is uh, this is the main safety part of uh, of uh, what we do in the furnaces. Okay. All right, y'all. Yeah. Here's a quick quick test for y'all. Uh, we got a double pole uh, 220 volt uh, condenser contactor here, 24 volt uh, feed. Uh, once that 24 volts applied here, it pulls the contactor in. However, we're just going to do a continuity test. We're not going to have any electric applied at all. I'm, all I'm doing is showing you we're going to close them contacts and we should get continuity. And there we go. And I suggest you use your, uh, uh, just get in the habit, even though there's no electricity applied to it, get in the habit of using your, uh, your uh, nut driver, your Klein screwdriver, and uh, something that just get in the habit of using something that's well insulated so it's just second nature instead of putting your fingers in it okay um, here we go we'll uh, take it to the other side of the pole you know it's a double pole contactor you couldn't test from here to here you know you're not going to get anything there I go touching with my fingers but uh, anyway let's try this side now we're going let's try it okay and there we go continuity and the coil has always got uh, continuity. I guess if you weren't reading continuity here, you'd know it was open. Okay. All right, y'all, that's just a quick test. Uh, don't really do that a whole lot, but uh, just, you know, showing y'all. Okay. Get ready for the final. <laughs> hey, y'all, save the best for last. Uh... I reckon this is one great continuity test right here, man. This is this is where uh, the meter pays for itself, and uh, I reckon it's going to be the last one because I think Sarge is uh, <laughs> he's had it for the evening and he wants me to feed him. So anyway, just hold on a minute, brother, and I'll be right with you. But uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to simulate. This is my thermostat wire running to my my uh, my heat pump out back, and the other side's running to my gas-fired furnace here in my house, my dual fuel system here. And what I've done, if I'm, I'm having a low voltage problem out back, you know, I'm, I'm just having a, a low voltage problem out there. And uh, what I want to do is uh, I'll come back into the furnace and I'll check, make sure I've got, uh, you know, my, my secondary coming off my transformer, make sure I got my 24. I'll test for 24. I'll make sure I got my low voltage. So what I do then is if I do have low voltage in, inside, I know there's a problem in this thermostat uh, in, my, in my line here. So what I'll do is I'll go out back and I'll take uh, all my wires. And I'll uh, take, and of course, powers off. I'll take all my wires and I'll wire nut them together, okay? And what I do is I come in here and I systematically, uh, I systematically test my uh, test for continuity here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just this red wire here, this red line is just going to stay. The alligator clip is going to stay on that yeller. And what I'll do is I'll systematically test uh, each individual wire, okay? So let's go to this hot. Okay, we're good. Come down here, just white. Yeah, we're good. Come over here, this reversing valve. Yeah, we're good. 
and we're gonna go green yeah we're good so you notice they're all loaming out around two or three point two point three all right well let's come over here to this, this common it's blue uh-oh open line open line no beat no beepity beat well man i wonder what the deal is well heck that, that line's in that wall we can't see it but that line's cut that blue right there is gone okay and uh you know somebody might have drove a drywall screw into it or customer might have hung a hung a picture or whatnot on it but that's the reason i run this uh i run 1810 on all my jobs i know it uh probably seems costly but i'm the man running the job here so you know the reason is is a lot of stuff i go on is going to be finished and if you've seen some of put some stank on the videos you've seen what he's had to do you know he that dude can he's tight he can spot just about anything but it freaks me out how he can you know just find stuff but uh anyway the reason i run that wire is because now i can take that black wire there and it don't matter what color it is so that black wire i've got four extra wires here so i'm going to make that black wire my blue wire now so let's see you know maybe just in case let's see i was taking we wiring up that black dude on there Okay, we got the black wire on there. That's gonna take over for our blue. Let's see if we got continuity. All right, rock and roll, we're in business. Okay, that's it. Now we've got a new wire to put in and uh, we're ready to roll. All right, y'all. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too boring. Uh, just having a little fun today. Reckon I'll holler at y'all soon. Bye.